This is the New Zealand Strike Indicator tool. It's designed to create strike indicators of varying sizes that are easy to see and float well. They're adjustable to suit different water depths. They stay in place on the leader, barely make a ripple when they land on the water, and are an absolute dream to cast. Here's how the tool works. Every tool comes loaded with several small segments of plastic tubing. Start by sliding one of these segments over the slot on the strike indicator tool. Decreased surface tension over the slot allows the tubing to move easily. Pull out a small clump of either white or orange wool and roll it in your fingertips to compress and orient the fibers. Identify where on your leader you'd like the indicator to go and at that point double the line over to form a loop. Catch the loop in the hook at the very tip of the indicator tool. Slide the plastic tubing from the slot down and over top of the leader loop. Place the rolled wool about halfway in the loop and move the plastic tubing segment up to temporarily hold the wool in place. While holding the leader on either side of the indicator, pull gently to draw the wool down into the plastic tubing. With scissors, trim the indicator to whatever size you like and you're ready to fish. Moving the indicator on the leader does not damage it or leave kinks. When you want to remove the indicator, get hold of the yarn and pull the plastic tubing back down over the leader. You can then remove the wool from the loop and store it for later use. Slide the plastic tubing onto the strike indicator tool and push it back behind the slot for safekeeping. Everything is 100% reusable. Each strike indicator toolkit comes with enough materials to keep you in indicators for a long time. The extra plastic tubing should be cut into 4 millimeter lengths using either line nippers or scissors. To give you an idea, 4 millimeters is equal to half the length of the slot on the strike indicator tool. There's also plenty of orange and white wool included. Reusing pieces will obviously make it last longer. If for any reason you do run out of materials, extra tubing and wool packs are available. When you're on the stream, the indicator tool can be hung by its loop on a zinger for easy access. In practical application, the whole process of creating and affixing an indicator to your leader is so quick and simple you can almost do it with your eyes closed. The wool is from a special breed of New Zealand sheep. Its bristly nature allows it to float high on the water for long periods of time. If it does start to sink, a few rapid false casts are usually enough to dry it out and keep it floating. Applying a few drops or a dab of your favorite floatant will keep the indicator riding high for even longer. Larger indicators that are easy to see generally work well in fast and off-color water, while low, clear conditions often require smaller indicators so as not to spook wary fish. With the New Zealand Strike Indicator Tool, you can make indicators in just about any size. They float well, are easy to see, stay where you put them but are still adjustable, don't damage the leader, cast and present exceptionally well, and are totally reusable. What more could you want from a strike indicator?